England's Six Nations campaign got off to a horrific start last week as they went down to Millennium Stadium 17 points to 7 to a fiery Welsh side. Now they return home back to Twickenham where they will face what some may consider to be the easy beats of the competition. It is Italy who will travel to Twickenham to face England. Hello everyone and welcome along to Flakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Six Nations for 2015. And England, after losing their first match, have so much to catch up on, but surprisingly they have kept exactly the same starting 15 as they put out against Wales. They're going to have to pick up the pace after that 10 point defeat and they really need to hammer this Italian side to show that they are still in contention for greater honours during the season. Italy are an upcoming side that are still trying to really make their way in the Six Nations. They've got a lot of young players, a lot of new players from the end of year tour last year who are trying to force their way into a higher world standard. The likes of Homona is going to be a real key aspect to how this team plays and his partnership with his eight and nine. Parisa and Gori are going to be well, just singly, the most important thing the Italians will look for. They've got experience throughout the side when you see Gardini, Castro Giovanni, uh, the likes of Perise, Bergamasco on there as well. In the back line, as Venditti, who's been around, Sato McLean, Massi and Morossi, who are just big time experienced players in an Italian jumper. They've got a tough ass, though, to beat the English. They've never done it before. And tonight, well, it could well be their night. It will be high Mona for the Italians to kick this one off. Playing in the blue tonight, Italy. In the home strip. Up against the whites of England. And round two of the Six Nations is underway as Homona kicks high. And Burrell finds it away for Rob Shaw, who slings it to Cole. Now we've got a chance. England attacking instantly. And Burrell, oh, big tackle on him. And a nice tackle it was as well. Oh, look at this from Italy. Big shove at the rock. And they get a turnover instantly. Castro Giovanni around the outside. Homona very close to the touchline. Shook off three tacklers. Finally put into touch. What a run there from Kelly Haimona. Showing already that he could be an influence that the Italians need. Here's Hartley. Gives it to Atwood and Youngs. Finds his room out to Rob Shaw who now switches play. And oh, Atwood. Release. Got a bit of a heavy hit there as he was very close to where the line out took place. Here's Ford with a huge ball. The way it goes for Robshaw. And Johnny May sliding through. Comes up against the fullback. Flicks it out. And he only finds the ball to Sato. Oh, and knocked on. Coming in from Massey. Advantage over. Advantage quickly over for England. As Haskell finds a massive ball wide. And oh, look at this from Burrell. Just about goes Release. through himself. Just hung on. Half a tackle there. Here's Gordy. Oh, massive tackle on him as they switch it wide. Here's a chance for Venditti. Big experience on the left wing. He goes Please. down. Still 15 metres out. Here's a chance. Biagi. Oh, look at this intercept from Cole. Joseph Advantage. looks to fling it out. Oh, it's a forward pass. And England will have to settle back and go to defence after Rob Shaw's forward pass. Well, there it was. Correct. It was Rob Shaw, the receiver. Right. Atwood was the one who See delivered it. the ball to his captain as a scrum feed will go in here from Italy. And what a huge shove. Gordy, Homona, runs in, steps nicely. Sato, back in field, he goes. Here's the run here from none other than Bergamasco. Really? He is an absolute devastating runner. England, though, will get this ball back. They do, yes. And fires it away for Ford with a slow breeze at his back. He'll smash this one downfield. McLean will turn and chase. And it gets a bit of a bounce on here as Johnny May is flying upfield. Oh, huge shot from May. And now it's off like Tomasi. That's not Please. much better. And England pull into this ruck. Looking for a turnover. They've really gone 80 metres upfield. Here we go, England. A chance to score the opening try. Oh, Rob Shaw has been pounded down. That is an exceptional tackle on the open side flanker. 
Marlow will play scrum half. He'll be looking to make some ground. Good ball to Ford. Ford off lines nicely. Burrell running away. Fintini makes a great tackle. And he goes to ground. This is a chance still for England. Out there waiting. Looking for the ball was Watson as Ford fires it wide again. Numbers to the left side. It's Joseph. One to May. And May's one on one with McLean once again. He can't get through. Super tackle from the Italian fullback. Still ball for England though. They are just this close. They need to score here. Away for Burrell. Burrell, oh, Burrell tried to go himself. Release. Tried to do it all himself. Be the hero for England. And he's coughed up the ball for his team. And it goes away. And Rossi will kick this into touch. And Italy have survived a huge scare here. Well, England really needs some go forward from someone in this team of a white jersey. 28 minutes ticks over as Atwood gets it down and Ford tries to run through himself. Atwood, Atwood's knocked on and that was not a bad play either as McLean comes through with it and it's still going as well. Over. Going to ground Italy and they're still going to run this out Come wide for Sato has been smashed and England will find the possession Manager here. Over. Mike Brown at the back, his half an hour ticks past. Still no score between these two sides. Big pass wide as Joseph gets tackled from Parise. And as Burrell looks outside, puts a grubber in for Watson. Here comes Anthony Watson, but it will be Venditti who gets this ball back. Big tackle from Watson. And look at his friends here. The white jerseys of England firing in. Huge ball wide for Edward. Edward's still got numbers. Has to be a try for England. Over the top for Ford. No, it will. Yes, it will. Surely be a try. Oh, no. Unbelievable defence from England. Oh, from Italy. An absolute horrible attack from the English. What on earth happened there? How did they not score? It was about a 7 million to 1 overlap. That is dreadful. From England. Marla now. Finds Woody Puller. They're still going to attack here. Cole to Burrell over the top. And Chris finds a way through. But Joseph eventually goes to ground. Watson cannot buy a trick out there on the right wing. How can they get any closer without scoring? That is a dreadful pass. And Dimashi will pick it up for Italy. And they will have the ball here. And they'll look to use it. Oh, big tackle there on Gori. Half time rings. What do Italy want to do? They've got the ball. Oh, and that's a big tackle there. Still off flies and Homona has no question about what he wants to do. He's kicked it into touch. And unbelievably, we go to half time with the two teams locked up as nil nil in this Six Nations second round match. What a match it has been. How England have not scored at least two tries is completely beyond me. They have had the biggest chances you will ever see in your life. 50-50 is possession. 55-45 is territory. Line breaks is 3-2. All going the way of England. Look at the tackles by the Italians. 42-18. to 18. That is huge from Italy. Massive amount of tackles. Both sides with one offload and a few kicks to boot as well. But goodness gracious me, 42 tackles to 18, that is a massive amount. It is the law between these two sides, neither team really making a mark on this match at all. Italy still in a chance here for their first win over England. Can they live on for another 40 minutes here? Or will the English strength and conditioning prove to be too much? Well, I don't think many fans would have been too keen on picking this to be nil-nil at halftime. Ford kicks off for England in the second half is underway and Watson is looking for Warwick. And oh, Hartley flying into the big pile of traffic there, gets the ball and England have to really fight here to keep this and they do. Ford pops it wide for Joseph who... Goes very deep here. Rob Shaw, the good pass out to May. And May's around. He looks to step. Oh, again, McLean. Sensational tackle. He has single-handedly stopped May. Scoring at least a couple of tries. Here's Vinny pulling a forward. Big pass. This has to be a try. And it'll be Anthony Watson. Who else? He's been starved of possession. But a chance he gets. And a chance he takes. England finally score. 
It's taken a rack up at half time, but they've got the try they wanted. Well, they've blown so many chances. Look at this. It was Ford who stopped. He saw the space. And look at the acceleration from Anthony Watson. Getting away from Mercy, who was chasing hard, but could not keep up with the pacey winger who slides it in for England's first try of the match. Look at this acceleration away. Chase coming in as well from plenty of other Italians. Bortolami with... A, tr a valiant effort, the second rower. Uh, Watson, we know he's quick. And he showed there what he can take with an opportunity. Ford could make it seven. It's an easy one. He should take this without too much worry. And he does exactly that. So England finally lead this one. Seven to nil over a valiant and very committed Italian side. But... One has to wonder, how much will the Italians last in these final minutes as we click on here? Might not be yet. Give them another 10 and we'll see how their endurance is fitting on. Here's Haskell. He takes it nicely and Ford offloads an attack. Or Robshaw around the corner. Joseph Nicey. And here's Burrell once again. He's looking for Watson, but finds Youngs instead. But he pull her away from Marla and they're switching wisely. Oh, this is Johnny May. He slips out of one tackle. Feeds the ball off so beautifully. Harley's running. Now he gets to Joseph. Oh, he's given it away. And now it's Ali have knocked on. Oh, what a huge opportunity. The break from Dylan Hartley. He was screaming away, the big hooker. And there was the intercept. And there was the dropped ball. Picked up Crouch. from Caldini. Touch. Off the knock-on, so England will get the scrum feed. We've seen an Italian scrum go very well, and look at that from England. Billy Billy Puller, oh, look at him run away. He gets a ball to Watson. It's just one-two, and Watson again up against McLean. And again, McLean makes a brutal defensive tackle to stop the flying winger. Here's Burrell. Oh, there's numbers here again for England. Joseph, Joseph for the line. No, he's not going to do it. What, Cruz? Yes, the big second row gets there. Joseph seems to have been held up completely, but he scored. The big man, the tall timber in the second row, gets the try. There he goes. George Cruz, great try. But look at this from Joseph. I thought he would have gone himself. He slipped in. Castro Giovanni was there, but Gordy come across. Really chopped him up, but he gets the offload. England have their second, and they are looking far more composed, far more clinical now that they have some points on the board. Now, Joseph just couldn't get away there. Good tackle from Gordy. Really sideswiped him as well. But Cruz is a man. He gets a try. England's lead is up to 12. And Ford could here make it 14 with the wind in his face. Steps up. Should be another simple one. And it is. The flags are up. And the conversion is successful. 14-0 England over Italy. Looking much, much more composed now. One would imagine here now that Italy may get a bit flustered. They may start to get a bit concerned about how this match is going kicked off again and the try scorer Cruz finds a way to Ford good ball beautifully caught from Joseph somehow pulled that in and Watson with a short pass coming off Cole slips it up and look at this from Italy big numbers to the rock and a turnover oh and a big tackle on Dimachi coming from Youngs he has hit him very very high but one will wonder again here Will they take the three? Italy should. Should be no question. They should get points whenever they can, but no. They have opted for the corner. Still having confidence that they can win this match, the Italians. It all come down to this opportunity here. Gardini will throw in for Italy. They need to score right now. To the front they go. And Biaghi, oh, gets Gori was very close. And look at this run here. But Tolami was just about in. Short. Homona. Homona stepping. And Homona just a metre short. Gordy looks himself. He's popped it over the top. And there's a try. Botolami. 
Again, it's the big second rower. He's got a try for Italy. And Bozzolami, well, that was sensational. Cruz, he got the try. Number five for England. Now it's number five for Italy. Look at this. He's so close. It almost be insulting to any tall man like that to not get that ball down. Such a big man. He had to score that close to the line as well. Big hits it. But he's saying Castro Giovanni right there. Dan Cole makes a tackle. But extremely difficult to stop that close to the line. Italy fight back. And they're in this game now. 14-5 the scoreline. Homona really needs this kick with 13 to go. And any thought that they may run out of puff is quickly diminished here as Homona with a sensational shot. Once again, the flags are up in Italy. Are just one scoring play away from the English. Ford will resume the game. Reese in his face as he kicks off again to the right hand side. Up it goes. Tall, very, very big kick. And it is Castro Giovanni with the ball. Goes short, nicely played. Bring a mask on flies and Massey hammered, absolutely smashed. Surely that's a penalty. How long was he over that ball? Doesn't matter because England get it all, oh, get it back. And a smashing tackle on Youngs has popped the ball over. free. Johnny May was looking keen as advantage is, oh, advantage was over, but the try score Cruz has put in a huge high tackle. And they will get the pressure relieved, the Italians. Castro Giovanni on the end of that high one. Surely, oh, they're gonna tap it. Well, this is interesting, because they've gone wide, and look at Bergamasco, once again. Well, Spirice has to show a bit of skill as Sato. Release. Out of the 22 now. Oh, big tackle on Biagi. Release. England. Oh, England have got the ball here, they turn this over. Harley with a big pass, away for Joseph. Nicely for Watson. Oh, and again, Watson. Now he's taken high. And England will have a chance. Oh no, Watson's got up. Watson's tapped. And Watson for the corner. Oh, Watson's kicked. What's he doing? Well, that was dreadful from Watson. Was he chopping that ball? What on earth was he thinking? Crouch. The ball was... Cut. He was just a metre away. See the ball has come free. He's kicked it dead in goal. And Italy have opted for a scrum feed. Full time goes. Still a chance for a draw. What have the English got? What have the Italians got? That is the bigger question. As oh, that's a dreadful pass. Venditti does very well. Release. To keep that in the field of play. And England have got it back. Here's a chance they wanted. And it's going to be the big number eight. Billy Von Impola just short. How did he not get that down? Look to stretch for the line. Pass back, homona has gone dead, that'll be it. That'll be the ball game. Homona shakes his head, he got smashed, he had no space at all. But England get the win. Two tries to one, it was not the entertainment plus that many here at Twickenham thought they might receive. But it was a good second half display from England. They got a couple of tries. Italy fought back hard, but in the end, the English were far too strong and have got the win got the result and got their Six Nations season back on track. The try scores for England, their 14 points coming from Cruz and Watson. One try apiece, four with two conversions. As for Italy, it was Bertolami with one try and Haimona with the conversion. 14-7 the final score. Not really the result England would have loved to have. They would have loved some more tries. Another two would have been great for them, but in the end, They'll take the win. Should have scored more. How did they not score in their first half? I don't know. They should have scored a lot more tries. As a result, nil all at half time. Not the best result for them. They pushed hard. Couldn't get anything else in their first spell. Come out strong in the second. But were very inconsistent throughout. And still we wait and see the complete England performance. Where it will come from. Not today. Not last week. Still a few matches to go in this competition. The stats, well, England did come back nicely. It was pretty dead even in the first half break. Full-time, 62-61% in territory. Possession in territory going to the English. 
Line break 7-3. to three. They pulled away there as well and got their clinical best for a couple of tries. Fell away completely and let Italy get a little glimmer as the match went to the dying stages. Still not perfect, England, but the win is on the board. And that is the end of my time for tonight. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. England have their season back on track for the 14-7 win over the Italians. I'll be back again for round three, so keep an eye out for that. And I hope you're enjoying the series. Give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to catch all the rest of the Six Nations and plenty more rugby action throughout the year. So thank you all for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.